Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sister. So this is a translation of the message that she sent to me. Strange things indeed they do happen in this world. The message reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as anonymous when... I came here, it was like a very long time ago. My husband, may his soul rest in peace, he passed away here in South Africa. He was a doctor and then I decided that it was far much better that I stay here instead of returning back home. Brother Nashi, do you know this other item that is called a dream catcher? As for me, I had to order it via Amazon. Then it came to South Africa and then I started using that item that is called a dream catcher. Brother Nashi, that thing is very scary and I hope that people are not using those things. So what had been happening in my life was that I was someone who always have dreams like i grew up in blawayo so what used to happen is that i would have dreams then i would see that in our area there were a couple of women that i would see they would wake up at night then they would get out of their houses they'll be like but naked so i'll be like why are these women getting out of their houses while they are naked like this little did i know that these women they were witches i was still very young at that time so the mistake that i did was that there was this other cousin sister of mine who came she was like the eldest in the family so when i was sleeping with her that was when when we went to bed i said you know i always have this dream like the woman next door and some of the women and i started telling her about those women that i would wake up when i would be having these dreams then i would go outside of our yard then i would see these women like getting out of their houses but naked and waiting for each other then they will be walking but they will be walking in a single file but they will be so scary so much that my heart will be beating very fast so at that time when i told my cousin sister she was like no don't tell me that she got so angry little did i know that even my cousin sister she was a witch my cousin sister how she was caught that she was a witch this was when she got married so when she went to that village unfortunately that was when they called them the commander the witch hunters so they came to her village and then she was told that she had to jump over one of the witch doctor's walking stick and she could not do that then she started crying and she confessed that she was a witch so she was the one who blocked my dreams because ever since that night when i told her that i have these dreams she blocked my dreams and i stopped having dreams i came here to south africa and after my husband had passed away, I then became friends with this other woman who was also from my country. So this woman, even though she used to go to the Pentecostal church, but then she told me that sometimes she does go to the White Garment Church just to hear what is going on in her life. So like you know that in most Pentecostal churches, there are no prophecies that will be given to you. So she said that it is important for you to have prophecies to know what is going on in your life spiritually and physically. So I accompanied her. That was when I was told that I was having problems of remembering dreams. And one of my cousin sister, she was the one who had taken a clay plate you know those ones that they use in the white garment churches so she had taken that clay plate so as the ants were so as the termites were building over that clay plate then it meant that i would never i was i was never going to be able to remember my dreams anymore at that time brother nashi that was when i said ah it is far it is far much better that I start to find things that can help me to remember my dreams. The woman then gave me some holy water that I used to bath with, but they were not working. So I then went past this other shop. So this shop, like there was a white woman, like she was using some tarot cards. So I had never done that before. So I just wanted to see what was it all about. But Brother Nashi, then I started to go down a rabbit hole until I lost my daughter. I lost, I lost my daughter a few months after I had those tarot readings. And then I was told that the reason as to why I was an 
able to have any dreams it was all because there were some there was someone who was blocking my dreams and then i came another video as well here on youtube it was from a spiritualist a spiritual channel that claimed that if you use an item that is called dream catcher it can protect your home from negative energy nightmares and spiritual attacks so i believed everything then i made the biggest mistake i ordered that thing straight from amazon and it came to south africa then i brought it into our home my daughter did not want this and the funny part about it brother nash is when i ordered this i ordered only one but then these things it came in pairs like it was a bonus that had been given to me so my daughter started complaining and she she was sensing that something was off and she was having these vivid dreams so i then told my daughter that no she was not supposed to be afraid because she was like mom mom each and every time when you place this thing of yours i can't sleep properly i keep on having nightmares she'll be like mom please take it down i don't like it but i didn't listen to listen to her I thought that she was just being a child. I was looking out for her and she was just scared of something that she did not understand. I thought that I knew better. Each and every time when my friends from church would come, then I would make sure that I would remove those dream catchers from my bedroom and my daughter's bedroom. Then there was this other night, everything changed. I, I woke up and my daughter was screaming, saying that there was something that she felt was in her room as if it was watching her. I rushed in and I held her and I told her that it was just a bad dream and that dream catcher, it was going to protect her. But the next morning, she looked as if she was exhausted, like someone who had not slept all night. Over the next few weeks, things got so worse, and my daughter started having more intense nightmares. She told me that whenever she would go to bed, as if there were some shadows that would be moving in her room, and she could hear whispers, people that would be talking to her, telling her to wake up so that they can have a conversation. I knew, yes, I knew that something was wrong. She became withdrawn. She was scared of her own room. She was always outside when I would leave her home alone. And when I would return, I would be like, what is going on? Why are you sitting outside? Then she would be saying that I am scared to return back inside because there is someone who is there. Then there was one night I heard her screaming again. The time when I ran into her room, I saw that she was curled up in a corner. She was shaking. I held her tight and I told her that everything was going to be okay. And then a few weeks later, that was when my daughter became ill. She started to have a fever, but then quickly things spiraled out of control. We took her to the hospital, but I could not even know what was wrong with my daughter. It was like something had drained her energy. She was weak and weak. They put her on the IV drips, but it was not even working. I lost my baby girl, and right now I cannot shake the feeling uh, that it was because I did not listen to him. Brother Nashi, when I returned back home from the hospital, when I removed those dream catches for the first time in my life, I had a dream, and I saw my daughter, she was being taken away from me by a dark figure. That was the same day, night when my daughter passed away. I have since gotten rid of those items, but I cry each and every night for my daughter. <sighs> Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our a dear sister, that was the translation of the message that she sent to me. Please let us try to speak with her in the comment section. If you have used any weird objects, um, you can come to my inbox and tell us your own side of the story. What happened after you'd used those things in your home?